It's a quick news break with yours truly, Miss Telefair. Please, if you have not done so, make sure you follow your boy on Instagram at it's Mr. Telefair. The goal is 10,000 followers by May 1st. We want to get to that goal. We accomplish things around here on my platform. Salute to all the pharaohs that's been showing love. 10,000 followers by May 1st. Look, this video is for all of my up and coming artists who all you got is a dream right now. Rap has always been your dream. R&B has always been your dream. Music in general has always been a dream of yours to be on stage performing in front of thousands of fans. I hope this video gives you a little bit of hope to know like with social media and this digital era and the fact that a lot of people are not working right now because of the coronavirus, your dreams can really come true just like that. Here's how crazy social media is. So a couple days ago, Cardi B posted a video in which she was actually in her own little way trying to give people game and try to increase the awareness of coronavirus as it hit the states. So she dropped this video via her Instagram account trying to just warn her people about the seriousness of this virus. Government, let me tell y'all motherfuckers something. I don't know what the fuck this coronavirus is about. I don't understand how that shit was from Wuhan, China. Now all of a sudden this shit is a motherfucking sword. And let me tell y'all something, I ain't even gonna front. A bitch is scared. I'm a little scared, you know what I'm saying? Like, huh, shit, shit got me panicking. And a lot of you motherfuckers think it's a joke, kiki, 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 like I was thinking, right? But that shit right there, just because you think you are immune to it, guess what? Your pocket ain't, bitch, because a lot of shit comes from motherfucking China, bitch. So if you wonder where your motherfucking weave or your fashion over motherfucking packages have arrived, guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus! Coronavirus! I'm telling you, shit is real! Shit is getting real! Woo! Well, because we're in the social media age, a few of the people that do the remixes on social media decided to remix Cardi B's coronavirus warning and call me crazy. A DJ that goes by the name of I Marquee has somehow, some way gotten himself a hit. Let's check out a little taste of his new record featuring Cardi B entitled Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Ladies and gentlemen, as I make this video, that song right there is the number nine song on iTunes. It's the number two hip hop song in America on iTunes right now. That's how quickly things can turn around. This DJ now has a big time record all because of the coronavirus being so prevalent because Cardi B is such a big time artist. And because people are home on their phones, get to work and start putting out music. This is a good time to put out music, ladies and gentlemen. Even Cardi B is shocked that this remix that somebody just randomly decided to do is about to probably get her a bag. She went on her Instagram account and said, damn, I cannot believe this. She said, the fact that this damn coronavirus song is charting on iTunes. Hold on. Let me hit up my DJ and Atlantic Records so I can get my damn coins. You know she's going to cash in. She said, damn, I posted this, the iTunes chart two hours ago of this damn coronavirus song. And now on the hip hop charts, it's number 11. By the way, I just updated you guys. It's not even 11 anymore as I make this video. It's now number two. She said, uh, I'm glad y'all having fun, but make sure y'all lice all y'all pussies before you pop it. That's how crazy things is. That's how quickly it could, cha it could change for you. Now, I thought the DJ Marquis, I Marquis version of the record was cool, but I really liked the, what the remix God did with this coronavirus record. He, he put his spin on it and he gets busy when he does this. Check out his rendition of this record. Woo!
This is the world we live in, people. Uh, people make money off of death. People make money off of pain. And people make money off of celebrity in this country. And this is what's happening right now. All three happening right now uh, as Cardi B's coronavirus remix has went viral. A couple of DJs about to get a lot of money if they went through the correct protocols to make sure this song is legally published. And Cardi B's gonna collect a free coin out of this as well because she's just that popping and just that big time uh, deal of an artist. Please, people, young artists, if you got the tools right now, put out music, record music right now, bare minimum, and try to get it out. For number one, your voice might leave in a couple weeks if you catch the coronavirus. So please get your music recorded. Try to get it out because people are going to be at home. AT&T, T-Mobile, and all the top phone companies in our country have already announced that they will not be cutting service off for two months. So people are going to have these things in their hands with service for at least through April. This is a great time to try to get your music career off the ground. Me, as a journalist and a reporter that gives news via YouTube, I'm about to up the Andy on the videos that I put out just because I know I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, this is kind of, you know, just I'm just keep, keeping it a, a bean with y'all right now. I shoot from my home studio most of the time, right? Unless I'm doing an interview out in public. Because I shoot from my home studio, I have my own lights. I have multiple cameras. Right now, you see that beautiful background? That's because I got a green screen that comes down from my ceiling. I got the equipment, multiple computers. I'm not trying to brag here. I'm being real. Because I've invested in self, that's like super beneficial for me right now because I don't have to worry about uh, going to a radio station to shoot or waiting on somebody else to shoot uh, for me, but they can't get out of the house right now because they quarantine, right? I run my own setup, which is helping me out right now. And because I know I'm one of the only people out there in my space with the, the, the tools and the technology to get videos out, I got to up the ante. I got to take advantage of this moment right now because this is what can really take my platform to the next level. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. Watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.